Hi, and welcome to a new B tutorial. B stands for Best Email Editor. That's not an arrogant statement, that's our goal. We want to create one of the best email editors out there. And today we're going to show you how to make your email really streamlined, simple, and level up the design by making it not look like a website. An email and a website are very different. The email really should be a teaser for content that is shown in full on your website. So the email itself doesn't need to have a complicated header, it doesn't need to have multiple calls to action, it may not even need to have that much content. But in this email from Fandango, which we looked at earlier this week in another blog post, there's a lot going on and it really is designed more like a website than it is like an email. There's a lot going on in the header, we have this main um, the main logo as the key header, and then we have a subheader that's a menu. Then we have another subheader that's this little um, Memorial Day weekend kind of call to action about special offers. And then when we go into the main content, we have this uh, multiple columns set up. So there's no immediate place that our eyes go to. There's not really a clear hierarchy, and it's not mobile optimized. Um, the email is not responsive, so when we view it on a mobile screen, it actually is still these two columns, and everything is super tiny. It's hard to click on the buttons, which we can tell right here they're actually images and not... Um, bulletproof HTML buttons and it's just not as easy to read so today in the B editor we're going to go ahead and show you how to start redesigning this email to make it really mobile friendly simplify it and make it a great email that does not look like a website so over in the B editor we're starting with a simple one column design we are going to make this email one column and I'm going to go ahead and pull in uh, this fang Fandango logo header and start there so we already have this image block here and I'm going to go ahead and use it and this is going to serve as our header for the email really don't need any more than this. We don't need that menu. What we want to do is really get straight to the main chunk of primary content and the first important call to action. And going back over to the Fandango email, it appears that probably the primary piece of content, the most important piece of content in this email is this X-Men module right here. Um, it's in the upper left, so that is the, the highest in the hierarchy if there is one of this email. We also notice that the pre-header text is about X-Men, so it's safe to assume that this is the most important piece of content, and so we're going to design our first module to have that content. So I'm going to go ahead and pull in a structure that will have an image of X-Men and text underneath it. The other thing I want to do is kind of visually separate this header from the content underneath it by adding a divider. And I'm going to go ahead and change this to a white row background and delete this section that we won't need up here. And let's copy this. I'm not going to do this trailer reviews movie times because I really want people to go straight to the call to action and not have other options to click. We're going to drive clicks all in one place. The button is going to say, instead of buy tickets, I'm going to go ahead and say buy my tickets now. It's more compelling, it's more personal. These sections we don't need just yet. We'll get them out of the way for us. So we can focus on this. I'm going to go ahead and edit the call to action button, make it a little bit wider. I want it to line up with about the width of the photo so it feels balanced. And I'll go ahead and make that a nice orange color as well. Nice. I'm going to delete where it says buy your tickets now because I just want people to really click right here on the button. This can be a bit larger. And here we go. We have a great start to a really focused email. Right after the header, we dive right into the primary element of content. 
After this, I can go ahead and add another divider and continue building the email one module at a time. And if at any point I want to preview how this is looking on a mobile screen, I'll just go to Actions Preview. And here's the desktop version, and here's the mobile version. Such a difference. It'll be so easy to tap on this Call to Action button. We can also link this image so it's clickable too. And that chunky header isn't taking up space anymore. We're going straight to X-Men. So to learn more, go ahead over to the Email Design Workshop. Hope to see you there.